All right, so finally, 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 after all these years, Heather and I got to visit Fuel Cleveland. Um, brand new facility, Hale Farms. It was beautiful. It was. It, it was, was so nice. <clears throat> I think, I mean, you know, a, a lot of the events today you know, are centered around you know, cool and industrial parts of different towns and stuff, but I, I, nothing for me beats an old-fashioned, out-in-the-country chopper party. Oh, right? I completely agree. I completely agree. And you, they couldn't have picked a better setting. Yeah. It was absolutely beautiful. So what was your favorite part? Oh, jeepers. It's hard to say. There was so much cool stuff. I mean, right off, I got to talk about the vans. There was a, a mini van show. And I expected to have, like, you know, there'd be six or eight yeah. vans. There, there were a ton of dope 70s I, vans. Yeah, I was very surprised how many there were. I really kind of, I liked that little, like, yellow the one. Mini. The super yellow, like, the bright canary yellow one. I liked that one because it was kind of uh, pint-sized. So I forgot how much I liked traditional 70s vans, like all the cool stuff, you know, the if the vans are rocking, don't come knocking. But... I've really dug, there was two of them that stand out for me. Obviously, the green shag fur. Oh, yeah. Like that was, the that interior was of that one was super rad. But the um, there was a yellow, I can't remember if it was a Ford, but it was done really, really well for the period, and it was it was super clean. But a lot of a lot of really cool stuff, man. The one, the light green one that had the top and the interior painted with all that flake and yeah. all that line work. Whoever the painter was on that, I can't it even was a panel, imagine panel job on the roof. The number of yeah. hours that painter spent on that, and it was fantastic. Yeah. So, so even in the parking lot of that place, it was like a bike show in the parking lot. Oh that was yeah, before you even got in, you know, great selection of, of vendors like tons of artists and craftsmen people we got to hang out with bear hot and from old bike barn motorcycle sherpa but also we found out he's white the knuckler man behind knives. white knuckler knives i did not know yeah. that i did not know that got some great new hardware there we're going to be talking about a bunch of his products coming up and uh, possibly even a little collaboration kind of deal yeah and we're going to have him on know. shop talk Chris Graves we ran into. Yep, from Fast Eddie Company. Had some uh, some great new tools that I want to buy. <laughs> I think one of my favorite parts, and I'm going to back up a little bit because you asked me at the beginning and you kind of caught me off guard with that question. For me personally, I think it was, we don't do a lot of stuff locally anymore. Yeah. So it was a real treat for me. And I mean, it's only two hours away from our house. But... For us, that's kind of local. So to get to s watch you see people that you haven't seen yeah. in years yeah, that, that you came cool. up in this industry with um, because it was a local a local show, and that exciting. was a real, real so pleasure for me. So talking about coming to smoke out. I know. I know. That was cool. But I love the bike displays. I love the vendors. I mean, the invited builder thing, that was great. You know, the food trucks, there was some great, a great hamburger lady. But uh, I don't know. You ate thing, it all. <laughs> the best thing, hands down, was part of Hill Farms. When there's not Fuel Cleveland there, is they have a glass blower that does demonstration and instruction, uh, and a blacksmith. And we got to hang out with the blacksmith for a while and watch him make these beautiful little iron leaves, oh. just like with all the veins in them and the the main beam vein and the little swirl at the end. Like, and he was doing this all with an old, like, turn-of-the-century, chain-driven leather bellows. Yeah. All with hammer work and a cool And he said forge. it took seven different seven different tools to make one leaf. Yeah. And it was beautiful. And he has been, through our conversation we learned, he has been the full-time blacksmith at Hale Farms for 42 years. So I would imagine after all of this, you know, the, the fact that this would be a long-term home for fuel is probably a safe bet. Uh, you for sure won't be disappointed spending a day there. If you missed it this year, put it on your calendar for next year and get ready. I have to say I was really impressed that it was a completely free event. Unless you came in in a car, yeah. you didn't pay to park your motorcycle. You didn't pay to get into the show or see the bikes or the vendors. And I really dug that about the whole thing. Yep. So, Mikey, everybody involved with Fuel Cleveland, great job. Awesome. We'll see you guys again next year. Yeah.